So I have this pile of rocks and I was wondering to myself, could I glaze that? Thinking to myself, I wonder if I could throw a couple of those in the kiln and uh, glaze them. So first step I think is to throw them into a bisque kiln without glaze on them so that if they explode, uh, they'll do that without being covered in molten glass. And if it makes it through a bisque kiln, then we'll put some glaze on it and fire it a second time and just see what happens when you take a river rock and put it in a kiln. Just give them a quick rinse. For context, that's how big they are. It's a nice size rock. Okay, so here's the setup I'm going for. I have these bricks just sitting here. These are standard fire bricks, uninsulating. And then I have this round shelf that I'm going to throw on top and put another shelf on and then fill up the rest of this bisque load. But I wanted to show you how I'm setting this up just in case these things want to explode. I don't know if that's a, a real concern, but that's what I'm concerned with right now. So we're going to give ourselves a little extra protection. Well, it's the next morning and good news, they did not break. I can't tell the lighting in the kiln is kind of funny, but they, they do look like they maybe got a little bit darker. Hard to say, but this means I get to glaze them. So, and I'm not a as worried now that they're going to explode because they've already gotten pretty hot but no problem so yeah good news I was happy to see that so here's the plan I want to set these rocks up get as much glaze on them as I can with just a bare spot big enough to set on these stands so to do that what I'd like to do is Go ahead. I'm going to wax a circle on the bottom of each of these rocks and then I'm going to go ahead and hot glue these dowels onto the rocks, onto the wax. I'm hoping it'll stick to the wax. If it doesn't, I'll have to come in here and torch some of the wax off, but I'm hoping it will stick to the wax enough to hold the rock and then uh, hopefully release a little easier than a, a big gob of hot glue right in, on the stone. So that's the plan. I'm going to wax them. And we're going to glue them on. That looks about right. Maybe a tiny bit bigger. Well, we'll let that dry and then we'll see if we can get the hot glue to stick to it. Okay, and here's the thing. I want to get it stuck hard enough, obviously, to hold it while I glaze it, but I'm suspecting that this is going to be very similar to glazing a fully fired piece of pottery where it doesn't really have a whole bunch of absorbency. Uh, and what that'll mean is even though I'll be careful and I'll let it dry, when I go to touch it to remove this stick in any way, there's a good chance I'm going to damage it. So I really want this to be removable if possible. So that's why I'm doing the glue on the wax. Well, that looks like it's going to work. I don't know why I'm so nervous. It's kind of a heavy rock. All right, let me get the other one and get that handle stuck on. Well, this one is showing some opacity still, which tells me it's not fully dry, but I got the glue gun going and I don't want to wait. So we're going to just Stick it on and see. Is it going to work? And this is a high temp glue, which means I do suspect it's melting the wax a little bit. Maybe that's why it's working. All right, I think that's going to do it. Okay, so I have my leftover gloss base number two with a blend of reds in it. I'm really hopeful that this is going to stick to the rock. So let's find out. What do you think? Is it going to stick?
Oh, it's working pretty good, I think. Uh oh, see the bottom. Boy, the wax released really nice. Ooh, missed a couple spots. Oh! Oh my gosh, what a humongous splash. <laughs> Holy crap. You can't see, but there is now glaze everywhere. That was not strong enough. Oh, what a mess. Okay. I got glaze on my face. There's glaze on the floor. There is glaze everywhere. That is not perfect. I'm not happy with that, but... I don't feel like gluing best the stick back on, so we're going to just move on to the other one and hopefully the other one will hold on for us. Okay, rock number two. I really hope this doesn't fall in. I'm not quite sure why the other one fell in. Probably because I was turning it sideways like this and it was putting more stress on it. So I don't know, but I'm going to hold it up high. I'm going to pour some blue glaze on it. Let's just see what happens. Oh. I'm already going to have to hose down the entire studio, I think. That red splashed so bad, I can't believe it. It's everywhere. Alright, there is blue. Okay, I don't want to turn it sideways too hard and drop it, but the bottom is fully covered. Oh, I don't want to break it. But, there you go. Let's let this dry up, and we're going to try to break off that stick. Well, this one here is uh, balanced up on its stick. It looks pretty stable. Um, and I put this one back up on its stick. It was on the Bisquare. Because this is bugging me. I don't know. Like, who knows? This thing is going to craze like crazy or drip off. But it's bugging me. And I've already made a big mess. I'm going to have to clean the counter. So I'm going to just let this balance on the stick. And I'm going to get some more red glaze and just pour it over the top. Hopefully, I really don't want humongous drips, but I want a little bit more. So, let me, I'm going to pour a little on top, just real careful, and we'll see what that does. Well, already I'm feeling better. I kind of wish it coated all the way down, but... Uh, let's give it one more pour. Let's just put a bunch on and let it be done. But I'm going to let that... <laughs> I'm glad I did it though because those fingerprints were terrible. So I'm going to let this dry and then we'll move it and I'll sponge all this up. And I need to get this all in the kiln in the next hour or so. So... Okay, so I have them set up on their bisqueware. You can see I just set them carefully, made sure that the waxed area is clear, moved them until they look good, and then when I put them in the kiln, I'm going to kind of hold them by this and set them down. But tomorrow morning, are we going to have a shiny red and a shiny blue rock? <laughs> I was going to say egg. They look like Easter eggs or M&Ms or something. I hope they look good. Uh, maybe they'll look terrible. We'll find out. See you in the morning. Well, it's next morning. Look at those. Not exactly the colors I was expecting, but uh, I got the top shelf out and all the rest of the things out and really excited to see that they didn't, it looked like they didn't drip or run or anything weird. Uh, they're still really warm and they're going to take a long time to cool down, but uh, there's still a good chance, I think, that the fitment of a glaze to or stone is uh, suspect at best. So um, my bet would be by the end of the day or even tomorrow I'm going to start to see crazings up here. But yeah, so looks like we made it. I'm going to pull them out when they're cool enough to handle. Well, here they are, cooled off out of the kiln. Uh, I am really intrigued. I, first of all, I have not seen any crazing happen. 
Um, this rock really, it, this had gotten darker before, but boy, it really got dark. I don't know why there are certain spots where it kind of rubbed through, but you saw I was just pouring glaze on top of these. By the way, these worked a treat in the kiln. Uh, just worked perfect, so I'm definitely going to do that again. But this one got a much nicer coating. It's lumpy. It's not even. It's drippy. But it's smooth. Uh, but this shows real promise. Oh, I wanted to show you. I noticed on this one. Can you see the cracks? Crack right there crack right there. Now I didn't see it before. It could have been there. I mean this is these rocks are dumped by dump trucks and huge piles and they a lot of them break so those could have been fractures that were already there but I didn't see them before so and they didn't fill up with glaze. I don't know if the glaze wicked away or possibly it opened after the glaze stopped flowing but that was interesting. That's the only evidence Maybe, maybe right there, I don't know. But this one is just glossy smooth goodness. So that worked really, really good. Now I wanna do a whole, whole shelf load of them and try all sorts of different glazes to see, uh, do they all work this good? I mean, really, no crazing? I'm not exactly sure what you'd use it for. I mean, I guess you could decorate rocks or something, but I like the idea of having like a big shiny Easter egg sitting on the lawn. So I think that's pretty cool. If you've ever glazed rocks, let me know what you, what your experiences are. That was kind of fun. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks again.